What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I dare you to ask me, what am I doing out here in the countryside, in the village at uh, just about 8 o'clock in the morning? An ungodly hour, if you ask me. Well, I'm going to get into all that in a minute. But first, I want to let you know uh, about my books, of course. My new book, The Things That Happen at Night, is my collection of short horror stories. And you can pick that up at the link below for just $3. But I've also reduced the price on all my other books. That's right. If you like my book, Living Cambodia, A Guide for Living in the Kingdom of Wonder, that's only $5. I also have a book called A Big Book of Weird Top Ten Lists. It's informative and fun. It'll give you facts that you might not have known before. Useless facts, <laughs> but facts nonetheless. I had a lot of fun writing that one. And all those are just $3. So check out the links below. Purchase a book. Or if you donate to any of the links down below, you can help support the channel by going through PayPal or Ko-Fi.com. And when you do those things, I will send you copies of the book along with an email thanking you personally. And by doing it that way, you'll also receive my weekly exclusive content just for my supporters. Videos, books, stories, and more. So be sure to get in on that. <clears throat> Check out the links down below. Now let's get on with the video. Right, so I am sans my gimbal <laughs> I do not have my gimbal on me I'll try to take it slow and easy though as long as this creature doesn't try to gore me hey buddy you never know what those things are gonna do so we're out here in the village as you know we help support a portion of the village out here it's a Something we like to do when we get the extra money. Your donations do help. Uh, generally, though, we just send them food every week. We have a tuk-tuk guy. He comes out here, drops it off, comes back into town for just $5, which is real nice of him. That's a good deal because this place is far away from uh, the city proper. But uh, usually we just send bags of rice and dried fish and some fresh fish, you know, so they can eat for the day and things like that. But I was told that we were coming out here today for some kind of celebration. And I don't know what it is. I checked and there are no holidays uh, today. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. 
what it is but we get out here about a half hour ago about 7 30 and uh wow there's just a ton of people out here and uh they're doing some buddhist ceremonies which you'll see later in this video uh and the first thing we did when we got here is they ushered me in and set before me a big bowl of noodles to eat really good noodles too this is a country cooking man i'm telling you you can't beat it it was delicious i had my iced coffee i had the noodles it's a perfect breakfast but uh i as of right now i'm still not sure what the occasion is <laughs> Uh, I would say maybe it's somebody's birthday or maybe it's somebody's uh, soon-to-be nuptials, except uh, nobody's getting married. <laughs> and uh, if it is a birthday, I don't see anybody in particular who's uh, being celebrated. So, But uh, I'm, I'm going to assume something here that uh, oftentimes in, in this culture and other cultures, uh, they, they sort of celebrate the death of important relatives on the anniversary of their death date. Like they have the whole funeral when all that happens, three or four days. And and then every year they, they get together to celebrate that person's life. And I'm assuming that could have been it from the, uh, uh, well, I'm trying not to step in all, there's a lot of cow poop here, <laughs> but I'm assuming it's something like that, having to celebrate somebody's death day, I guess you can say. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but it makes about as much sense as anything else. But uh, when Second High told me we had to be out here at 7, my first thought was, in the morning? Are you I'm... Sometimes I don't go to bed till 2 or 3 in the morning. And the reason I don't go to bed till 2 or 3 in the morning, by the way is simply because uh you know back home there's there's this 11 12 hour time difference and uh when i'm posting things on social media and promoting my books and things uh it just makes sense to do it when the majority of people that that are going to watch the videos or buy my books are you know awake so they can see them before they get lost in the social media junk pile there <laughs> But anyway, I made a concerted effort to go to bed at 9 o'clock last night, which is insane for me. I did go to bed at 9 o'clock. I eventually fell asleep probably about 1 o'clock, <laughs> tossed and turned for a few hours. <clears throat> but then we got up at 6, got ready, and took a pass app. And here we are. So I'm going to show you some things throughout the day. We're going to be here till about 4 or 5 or something like that. Uh, and I also know that uh, somewhere along the line there's going to be a lot of beer involved. <laughs> so, yeah, I might be stumbling over my words a little bit come later in the day. But we'll see how all that goes. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to let you know what's going on. And uh, be safe. ไหลโปรเตียงเตียตัวเตียงบ่บ่อออกโปรเตียงไหลโอ้ยเตียวะนโยงจันทร์ตอระเป็นเตียตอมเตียตอสุขันสุขะเตียตอจับปางเก่ง
as you can probably imagine. <laughs> we got people in there doing a little worship uh, service, a little Buddhist thing. I, I don't know what it is. There, guys. And here's all the guys. And there's all the cows. And there's a, there's a duck. I think it's a duck. Let's go see if that's a duck. Oh, yeah, that duck's saying, nope. I'm quacking out of here, man. Get away from me, white dude. <laughs> You're invading my space. Oh. Oh, he had a sleeper in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good looking ducks, though. But, uh, yeah, I guess after the ceremony, we're going to break out the beer and have a celebration. Um, it's a little bit early, I think. Uh, right now it's about 9 o'clock, but uh, when in Rome, right? Even if that means getting passed out drunk by 3 o'clock. But we'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. All right, now we're going to get the party started. We waited a little bit. No 9 o'clock in the morning drunks here. We are all 10 o'clock in the morning drunks here. <laughs> we got some ice. We got a glass. We got Cambodia beer. That's all we need. All right, so here seems to be the thing here. Uh, we have a... Uh, I got here at seven o'clock and they gave me a great breakfast. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> great breakfast, by the way. They ushered me in, set a big bowl of noodles in front of me, as I said. Oh, man, they, they know me well because that was perfect. <laughs> Limitless energy. Only kids and crackheads have that, uh, by the way. <laughs> but there was a Buddha ceremony about uh, nine o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, uh, of course, we started having our beers, as I just said. And woo, they are flowing fine. There's all the guys, and the girls, and the kids. And the music and the dancing. And they're saying hi. Say hello. What are you doing? Oh, you're cleaning up. Yeah, she's... <laughs> I don't understand. Sit down, have a beer, relax. Nope, that's not her way. And there's a the dog. I've been trying to pet that dog forever. <laughs> and it doesn't bark and growl at me anymore, but it won't come anywhere near me neither. One day it's gonna happen though, folks, and you'll be here to see it. Well, it looks like the rest of the day is going to be about the beer. Uh, right now it's only about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, maybe, maybe noon. I didn't, I didn't really check, but uh, four beers in already. This is going to be a wild uh, rest of the day before we head back home. But uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to record, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, if you want copies of my books, you want weekly exclusive supporter-only content, there are links down there for PayPal, Ko-Fi.com, where you can join my Patreon. All of that is appreciated. You help us do what we do here. Without you, there would be no us. So I really appreciate you guys. Also down below are links to other channels vlogging from this part of the world, and they are pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. So be sure to uh, get in on that. My social media is down below, and my other channel, Horror Reads is also down below. If you want to hear about uh, the latest horror books I've read, where I review and discuss them, that would be the channel to go to. All right, thank you guys, and I will talk to you. Oh, I almost tripped <coughs> on a leaf. <laughs> Maybe more beer should not be for me, but we're gonna give it a go. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.